tend to talk to one another as we watch Scott Pruitt move to the inside of Gordon again, slower traffic, a factor. Drag racing down the back stretch. Pruitt gets in low. Gordon up on that high line that he loves. Whoa, he takes the bravery line and they stay side by side over the front stretch. You have to hold your breath. You have to hold your breath when you move, make moves like this. If he loses so much time on the racetrack with a handling problem, he could take him in, try and fix it, and then send him back up. Whoa. And look what's going on here. Three wide into one as here is Michael caught up with a whole gaggle of traffic in front of him as he comes down inside of Jimmy Vassar, picks him off for fourth place. And that's the use of traffic right there. Now he tries to go inside Pruitt. Look at that. Oh, Pruitt loses it. And Pruitt catches the wall. He loses it just in front of Michael. Well, Paul Rivero seems to be good. Here's the Honda power. Look at this. Ford versus Honda down the inside. This Firestone car is very good. We saw Pruitt pull it off earlier, and yes, he does it. Oh, is that great? So Rivero moves up one on Paul Tracy. The order is Michael Vassar Tracy. Michael Vassar Rivero now. See Rivero changes line there. He went out. Oh, oh look, look at that. that. Boy, right under braking, Ribeiro almost had him, but then he gets caught up behind Fittipaldi. Fittipaldi lets Michael down to the inside. Now Ribeiro's caught up behind him. Ribeiro has to look for room, and Michael gets away. I don't know what that felt like in the cockpit, but that looked downright dangerous from where we are here. We're a long way away, but Ribeiro tried to make a move around the outside and almost got himself in deep trouble. Here he goes again. Ribeiro now comes up on the right rear that first bit of traffic that they had to deal with but look at Ribeiro Ribeiro now moves to the outside gets very very high and he can't get it done oh remember this is 150 miles an hour off these corners and they are inches apart there he goes Ribeiro takes that line that he favors ducks to the inside takes the lead oh, I, I happen to get a chance to take a look underneath the rear wing as they brought the car back up on this side of the wall it's very congested they couldn't move it and you could clearly see drops of oil coming off the whole lower stanchion so apparently there was a very pronounced spray it's definitely a lot of fluid it appears to be oil and uh that's there's no question it was significant at least in my uh my opinion well gary while you're talking we're watching jack Villeneuve as he really is carving his way up Will power up the inside. Contact with Newgarden. Graham Ray Hall is collected. Will power again up the inside. And no. And, and Hawksworth wants nothing of it. And Scott, that was the same pass he did before. Absolutely. Hawksworth in the green and black 98, now with double wide behind him, Kanan the black 10, and Mikhail Voloshin in the white, blue, and red 7. And Voloshin on the right-hand side, a rookie, Tony Kanan, left-hand side, a veteran. Oh! Hunter Ray is, is uh... Oh, there's James. Dixon! Will power the boss car on the stream right now, under braking past Charlie Kimball, slides between the wall, and surprises Scott Dixon in the red target machine. He's a man on a mission right now. One pit stop in the race so far. Everybody else, two inside. Munoz on a lotion, forcefully. Charlie Kimball gets by while a lotion tries to read. Who makes a move? Pagano inside defensive line. Hitchcliffe behind him. Watch Hitch go on the inside now. Does he make it? He's got he it. Does. He's trying to set up Charlie Kimball. Kimball started to move over, and Hitchcliffe says, I'll go on the outside. There we go. Tight, 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 tight. And Long front stretch. And down through the gears. Right straight away here, two thirds of a mile long. 210 miles an hour, hard on the brakes, down to third gear. 120 miles an hour, minimum cornering speed. Back up through the gears onto the back straightaway. Christian Fittipaldi working against Mimo Gidley. <laughs> Christian finally puts a nose ahead of him. Not, they're still going to go side by side into four, and Christian is able to know that the driver wants to stay in the car he's most comfortable in, but he's had the most time on the track in. They got it back in the garage area. They started looking things over and decided that they had to make the change. Gary, you cannot believe the pass that Kenny Breck just tried and almost got done. He came around Paul Tracy on the inside, then drifted across Tracy's nose. Tracy never lifted.
against it at all and took the position back immediately. The fight continues, and now Jimmy Vassar joins in. I've been keeping my eye on Jimmy Vassar's crew. They've got the tires up on the wall. The guys are getting ready to set out here. Well, as predicted, Blundell peels off for the pitch. It looked like both Fernandez and Breck were going to go with him, but then they stayed out. Well, they almost touched tires there, and Breck finally gets Fernandez. On the lead, Paul Tracy, who's been closed up on by Michael Andretti. And Andretti, clearly the quicker car now. He looked on the charge as you watch Michael Andretti with slower traffic ahead of him and Paul Tracy now right behind him. And Tracy goes high. Andretti low as they go around Greg Moore in the blue and white machine. And Tracy is forced up high. Michael Andretti now up to eighth spot. And Andretti makes a move on Vassar. Don't forget something we haven't mentioned a lot of. The Goodyear tire at this track seems to be a little bit better. Hey, what the prime? Mike Goodyear, so is Bobby Ray Hall, but Jimmy's on Firestones. Pit stop coming up. The driver being asked, do you want the primes? Meaning the prime versus the optional tire. That time, we are back under green flag here at Nazareth. Paul Tracy leads with 153 laps in the books, 225 scheduled. You ride with Michael Andretti in fourth place. Just before we went to the break, you heard his team telling him, we're good to the Andretti, slower traffic ahead, but perhaps more importantly, Alonzer Jr. is behind. Here's the pass. Looked like Alonzer Jr. got held up a little bit when they were at their best. And here comes Mondell. Right around the outside of Dario Franchitti. We saw this in Portland with his first win in the rain. He doesn't want to do something rash here. He wants to take his time and make this pass stick. And you can see him go through that huge puddle under braking. Very clean pass. Well done, Mark Liddell. 19th, 18th, 17th, just ahead of them, Magnuson, Gordon. Moore, who's right in front of the battle right now, is a lap behind the race. Frank Keating, you're right Tracy's there. going to try it again, come to the inside. You hear as Chip Ganassi tells Montoya, a nice move, and drops right back in. Oh, no, Tracy loses it. Oh, he just bumps the wall. He stayed on the throttle there. Dangerous spot. Did he kill it? No. Here we go. He selects up reverse. He's still okay. He and Montoya Strong pulled out. Now is 15. Elio Castro Nevis. We mentioned him at the start. Well, let's take a look. Frank Heaty tries it. Ball gave him a little room on the exit, but he still can't do it. On the inside, if he can't get that done, he's going to try to exit turn six like he's made his passes in the past. See Dario sideways at 160 miles an hour there. Now he's not close enough to get it done here, or is he? Well, no. He's go. Oh, and he may lose. Oh, he saves it. Hey, what the fuck is going on? Well, we apologize for that. It looks like he's got damage to the rear wing there. Paul. Now Franchini tries to make the move to the inside. And in fact, he gets the position. Franchini and Tracy lining up behind Juan Montoya. Oh! Franchini backs her into the tire and bends the rear wing. Franchini is out. Franchini's got problems off into the wall. The same and, place. Yeah, this might bring out a full course. Oh, no! Tracy! Tracy! Un in a single lap! In a single lap! This is, this is going to be sweeping down the back straight. Great restart this from the Spanish driver. Oh, and Look Castro at Montoya and De Ferran. Absolutely together, side by side, as Montoya again on cold tyres, trying to take advantage of his lightning reflexes in getting past Castro Neves. But again, look at Castro Neves' car, putting the power down, the back end sliding around, and Montoya trying his hardest to get onto the pace with these two Team Petsky cars. Through the flat-out kick, well, it's not quite flat-out and cold. Look at the direction, wow! Fantastic stuff, and you see how committed Montoya was. Now he's got a great opportunity again, but again, Castro Nevis has forced him down the outside, and he locks up, can't make the move. So Juan Montoya changing the brake balance, I think, there on the steering wheel. And if he does go on to get the win and get the 20 points, it'll at least get him up closer to the guys, but the top six is where the battle is, as Montoya tucks right in underneath Castro Nevis, now goes to the outside. Seen this so many times, haven't we, Montoya? Desperately looking down the outside into turn six, seven, his only victory in champ car racing to date. 
but as he says, luck running out a little bit this weekend. Montoya continues in his chase of Elio Castroneves. Garcia getting out of everybody's way. Look at that side by side again, Montoya. This time he might have done it. Has he got enough of an advantage? Oh no, he doesn't quite have it. That was as close as it's been so far. Basser in second. Oh, we can see Castroneves there at the bottom of the screen, weaving to block the inside with Montoya. Montoya said, oh, I'll take it on the outside. Leans right into him. Montoya leans across Castroneves. Oh, wow. And Castroneves comes right back at him. And Tracy says, thank you very much. Okay, I'll be coming down the inside, and maybe I'll get him, maybe I won't. Didn't get it. And Montoya, look at this. Side by side through turn five, Montoya says, okay, I'm going to come back. Oh, you put your car there. Hey, Haley, don't you know who I am? I'm last year's champion. Tagliani. Well, he finally got him. Got a great draft coming down the straightaway. Just locked him up and said, I'm coming through. You better not turn. And so Marquez picked up eighth place with that We'll man. be looking for those guys from target team because Paul Tracy is looking in his mirror, wondering if they're coming. There goes Ron. There goes Michael. Paul Tracy. And what about Castro Dennis? Oh, oh, they're yeah. side by side coming out. Castro Nevis gets totally sideways. They stay side by side. Carpenter in the Fuzzy's Vodka car, and now that's Rubens Barrichello. He had a fast car in qualifying side by side with Tagliani. Man, this is a difficult place to get it done. Oh, wow, that is really close. And he just, all of a sudden, he cranks to the left here. There's an opening. So oh, right what forward. great timing. That's the way to get off the cicada. It's blew by Ed Carpenter. Then the next lap comes in and keeps that momentum on Conway. Ooh, look at these guys, guys are sliding, I'm telling you. Will Power in front in that black and white Verizon entry. Sebastian Bourdais, his white and blue seven, may get a move off the hairpin. And definitely some contact there, quite a few. One of those was Mark Landry. That's Pagano leading that group, and they're tiptoeing through because it's really slick there. Trying to get the power down off turn four. James Hinchcliffe in that green, number 27. And he's passed right now. This is good. Ryan Hunter Ray works his way by. Wow. Uh oh. Conway gets turned oh, around. Get those tires off. Kimball goes to the inside of Serbia. Hunter Ray taking a look on Serbia. Looks like he's uh, got it done. Oh, this is the slickest part. That's James Jakes, but he, oh, nice he hangs on to it. They're driving basically oh, the same car. Oh. See, Ryan Hunter Ray there, fourth in that group. Because of that pit strategy, he really needs to make time now, but he's stuck in traffic. Right on board with J.R. Hildebrand. He's on slicks. Oh, he gets, uh, yes, he gets jinxed. So Ryan Hunter Ray moving up a position. Now he's after Visto. Oh, he's going to try it in five. And gets it done easily. Go around the outside, and he does easily. Oh, hang on! Wow. Or day. He wow. throws it in there. <laughs> he and Jake, he gets Jake's right on the there. exit. But a good drive off the corner. They may be side by side again. With the goodness, look at this. Jake's and Borda and Day almost touching the wall at Jake's, the exit. Jake's is on it. And now Borday's getting passed by Barrichello. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> I've seen more side by Here side. Comes power, power's on pit lane. Kimbo, oh, Charlie Kimbo. Kimbo. Inside. Wow! No. Look, Look at Pagano. Holy mackerel! He came out of nowhere. I told you, Pagano got to the front. These guys, guys, Sato came on the radio to Bobby Rahal and just said, I, "I didn't have any power on the start." Bobby said, "Look, it's your job to set the pace." He said, "I know, I didn't have any power." It looked like it, Townsend. That's, <laughs> it just looks like. Uh, And Kimball did not get a great start this time. Ryan Hunter Ray does, and he oh, they wow. touched. Contact. I think there. he got hit from behind by Kanan. Kanan, very forceful move up the inside. Got through a clean wow. ball, I think. That wiggle by Ryan Hunter Ray. I think there was contact from behind, but he hung on to it. Look at James Hinchcliffe has gotten back to the pits, changed the tire. It's all that was wrong with the car, and he's now in that mix. He's two he is a lap down, down yeah. or two laps down. Rubens Barrichello oh, goes wow. up the inside of Hilton. Just that gap up on points. Here we go. We talked about the uh, breaking guys. Power's just been doing it all day long. Look at Dario trying to come back on him. Up the fifth spot. Like Marty said earlier, push the passes than he does. Than Hunter Ray. And Ryan Hunter Ray. I can't even talk. <laughs> Ryan Hunter Ray blocking a little bit in there and contact. 
blocking a little bit into the hairpin for no reason. Actually lost momentum on the way out. Barrichello oh, versus Somebody Conway. just got the tires. Briscoe down on the bottom. Ooh, get squeezed down. Briscoe still may stick it in there. He does. And that's what Hunter Ray wants to see right now, is he wants these two guys racing behind him. That was perfect for Hunter Ray. That is exactly what he wants to see. Good move on Brian Briscoe right there. Will Power fifth in line, and look at this. Oh, he, he might lose a spot. He does. He does. Two spots. Two. Two. It Maybe might be three, three spots. Will Power, it's and drifting five. away on the last couple laps. Alex Tagliani on the Trying outside. To slow the cars and yet keep them stable enough yeah, to Greg race Moore on the outside. Speed. Here comes Moore again. Side by side. Both in clean air. Both have maximum downforce going over the car. Now look, Michael moves right up, tucks back in. Going to try to slingshot down, going into three. Is he going to leave you room? What See, a he had to back, double. And he had to back off. Greg Moore did, so look who's taking advantage of it. Alex Inardi. That's the problem right now. If you breathe that throttle a little bit, look out for the guys behind you. And look at Greg Moore right back around the outside. Said, hey, oh. I'm not finished with you. Little puff of smoke. Yeah, that was from the oil side for Michael Jackson. Yep. That shows how high he was exactly. up there. Exactly. Right up there where all the dirt piles up at the foot of the concrete wall. And now Greg Moore takes the inside line and takes second spot. And here comes out. Oh, oh boy. Well. Here we go. Now if Maurizio, if, if Maurizio goes over Jimmy. Jimmy Vassar, going by both of them. This is Vassar's bid for at least $500,000 and possibly doubling it to a million. Foot on the brake right now, one on the gas, trying to hold it down there and spool it up. You saw Zanardi's bus on yeah. the outside, get a little twitch. Here we go. By going now, they, see the green isn't out yet, so they cannot pass him, even if they have nope. a run on him. So by going early, he's out, able to build ahead of Steve, and the starter still hasn't just played the green flag. Now the green is out. Let's look see look if any of them tied up. Vassar's making a bid. Vassar takes the lead. Green on right side. Zanardi almost touches wheels with Moore. The two target teammates are first and second. And you saw Zanardi had to lift off a little bit when he went into one, held up Moore a little bit, gave that Jimmy that little break. That might be enough. Here comes Here's Moore. Moore. Here comes Moore. Zanardi low. Moore up high. And this is helping Jimmy Vassar get away. No, he's got to out him. No, Vassar's out in front by about five car lengths. They come off the turn now. Can he hold on? Can he hold on for a million dollars? Yes, Jimmy Vassar with his fifth in the air wins one million dollars at the 500.